Hello anyone, I'm Luffy Russ and this is Super Mario 35. Today's daily challenges are Clear four courses Use two superstars and Use shells to defeat 30 enemies Nice Looks like Um At 2 today there's special battle as well Nice Um, 8-4. There we go. My headphones don't feel like they're on right. Like, do you ever get that where your headphones just don't feel like they fit? It's fine. It'll be okay. And if it's not, then oh well. We'll make do. So, I'm watching a lot of YouTube while I kind of goof around, either editing videos or playing Smash Bros or whatever. And I see a lot of ads. That's how YouTube is, I get it. That's not the issue. The issue is, I want to murder that Dr. Squash guy. In fact, I may want to murder everybody in those commercials. I don't know, it's just... this weird combination of like... Being an over-the-top, like, not quite manly man, just like a jerk guy. And then having a guy who's like your stereotypical, like, man's man, be kind of like the baby wimp guy. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, like, it's cool to, like, play with stereotypes. But, I don't know. It doesn't sit well with me. That, I guess it would be fine as long as, like, he's not literally fainting because of the word detergent, you know? Well, it's actually the fact that it's synthetic that's the problem. I don't, I don't care. Dr. Squash has to go. <laughs> Uh, I'm just... I don't like it. That's it. End rant. It's a really dumb thing to get upset about. Or less upset just to, like, have irk me, I guess. I don't know. I guess what gets me is I'm perfectly fine with like doing away with gender roles and whatever's, but I kind of want those portrayals to be positive. Like, I don't know. You can still be a cool guy or a strong man without like being toxic without being stereotypically like what every guy needs thinks they need to be, you know? So it's kind of lazy. It just frustrates me as someone who is like a weak kind of girlier kind of guy. Like there's so many ways you could do that. And you had to pick like fainting because of fainting because of detergent. And I can kind of understand that, too. I literally faint when I get yelled at, so, you know. I literally faint if I get too emotional. I get it. I am literally a fainting couch kind of guy. In the 20th century, or 21st century. I don't even, I don't even have, like, tight corsets to blame. I'm just naturally that way. 
Although to be fair, like, I'm probably not naturally that way, I just have no coping mechanism for the fact that I'm very high strung and probably have an undiagnosed anxiety disorder. But you know, we're not gonna unpack that today. <laughs> We're not gonna unpack that at all, really. Um, I don't know the ages of you guys. According to YouTube, you are all white men, ages 24 to 30. So basically, you're you're like me, and that's cool. We're a group, but uh, YouTube has a lot of kids on it. And I really don't want kids to be like. I have to, like, be supportive of this guy, or I need to, like, I don't know, kids need to live their lives without adults getting in the way. At the same time, being, like, kind of open about this stuff might make it easier for other people to be open about their stuff, you know? And if that means somebody who's still in middle school or high school, uh, actually gets the help they need, when they're young, that's great. Because, you know, <laughs> that work, it may not always compound, but it it never gets easy, you know? So if you get it out of the way when you're young, like, you have your entire adulthood to enjoy. And if you don't, then you've got more time to, like, figure out what doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know. I want the best for people, but I often don't know how to, like, achieve that, so, you know me, I'm just flailing around verbally. Okay, there's a star there. There's coins in this one, but I don't really care about that right now. That's not the prize I seek. Oh, I should have jumped on that guy. Yeah, I should have jumped on that guy when I have a star. Oh well. Still got a power up. And now, we will perform a magic trick. Called maxing out our time in this stage, hopefully. I saw a series of YouTube movies, uh, or videos, I guess they're videos, they're not movies, that are kind of stuck in my head right now, they're kind of living there rent free. Um, the title of them is, the title of them are, nah, it's is, because it's, each one has its own title, I feel, I feel like that's grammatically correct. The titles... If I said the titles are, that would've been okay. But the title is, um... Your first time, like... It's something like the first time you do an RPG quest. And then the next one is when you hear boss music. Or enemy music in an RPG. And then the third one is... Your second time playing an RPG. They're really great. Um, I wanna say the... I don't remember the, the name of the person who made them. It's something Haver, I think? I remember that. I think. Also, the Twitter guy, the CEO Twitter guy, is kind of cool. Is it's, It is Dan Price. If you were wondering about that from last time. I know I was. <laughs> you know, the one person who... It doesn't matter because I already have the answer. Kind of available. But yeah, you should really look up some articles about Dan Price. Learn about what he's doing. I don't know. It's already been ten minutes? Holy smokes. I do not have any coins. That's not fair. You gotta wake up a little bit- Aw, oh, screw you, game. I'm 
gonna suffer, aren't I? I'm gonna suffer for the crime of being here. Thanks, Cam. I appreciate you. Oh yes, that was too close. Ah yes, I got the fire flower when I am done with the ocean level. Thank you, game. I appreciate it. You're really trying to fry my bacon here. I appreciate it. <laughs> I don't appreciate it at all. What is this nightmare? Of course. Because there's no such thing as peace or tran peace or tranquility. I need to just start Oh my god, really? Thanks, game. I appreciate you. Freaking jerk. Thanks, game. You always know how to keep a smile on my face. One, one, when? One, one, when? One, one, when, game, please? I've earned it. Okay, and the timer is starting to count. Of course. Timer is really starting to count down now. Oh boy. Hey, at least we're down to five peeps. That's cool. I always like to be in the freaking danger zone completely. You know, that's always fun. I don't even care. That's kind of a necessary, necessary thing to do. Just like this. It's all very necessary. I need to kill all of you, like as much as possible. Of course. <laughs> oh my god. Well, second place isn't bad. I'll take it. Hey, we did all the things, and I didn't even try to do any of the things. Of course. That's cool. I appreciate that. I need to do a thing. There we go. Alright, and here we go. Um, had to do some wires. They fell down. It annoys me when they're down. The wires have to be up. Um, what were we talking about before we started talking about Dan Price? It was something I had been meaning to... Oh yeah, how much I hate Dr. Squash. Okay, we don't need to go back to that. It was something I've been meaning to talk about for a while. I don't... Not, the, not to the point where I have a post-it note or anything, but definitely to the point where... I'd just be goofing off during the day and be like, Well, you know what you should do? You should definitely go on a little rant about how much you hate Dr. Squash. I don't know. I know hate's a strong word, but he's a fictional character played by a real actor. I think it's okay to hate the, the fictional character. It's okay to hate fictional characters. As long as you don't hate real people for dumb reasons, it's fine, right? There we go. Is this a round I win? I don't know. 
Probably not. I'm gonna jump into a hole or something dumb. Let's actually get a bunch of coins this time. There we go. That's what it's all about. Survival. You ever get random ear or like nose itches? Oh wow, that is actually pretty good. Very well, very good. Very decent. Like I'm constantly getting like an ear itch when I have headphones on. There's gotta be like a cat hair stuck on it or something. And I know that's kind of like random, but it's something I have to deal with randomly <laughs> as I'm playing. It's awful. My ear itches. I don't know why. Good enough. Hey, help me out. There we go. Neat. Hey, we almost maxed out the timer. Oh boy. That's usually where we lose a, a power-up. Move like that is usually where we lose a power-up. That is true. But yeah, perf... Perfuma? No, Persona 5 Striker should have arrived tomorrow at some point. Or today. Later today. Assuming the email from UPS is right. They usually are. I'm gonna get like four more. I love ordering things from Best Buy because I get like five emails from them over the course of like one pre-order. It's absolutely wild. Like, they'll do the, hey, it's been a while since you pre-ordered this thing, so you should check your credit card information. And then they send you, like, the, we shipped your stuff out, here's your tracking number. And they also have, like, the UPS one will be like, we're UPS. Best Buy gave us this to give to you. It'll be here tomorrow. And you're like, okay. Cool, cool. And then the day of, like, you'll usually get, like, a... Your, li your delivery is scheduled for today, from either UPS or Best Buy. And then you'll get a, you'll get a, your package has been delivered from whichever one sent you the original email. Or not the original email, but the previous email. Yeah, yeah. That's how I wanted to say it. But yeah, um, as someone who's not really good at a, Keeping their email inbox clean. That's a bit excessive, but at the same time, like, it's... It's definitely better than some of these companies where it's like, We shipped it out and we didn't email you at all. You're gonna get a random box sometime in the future. We used a very affordable way to ship this to you, so it's gonna take four months. You can't track it at all. Do not bother us. We have no customer service. Uh, gotta love it. funny. Kid me thought I'd be, like, exploring the world with my friends, trying to find, like, mythical animals. And here I am alone with no friends as an adult. It's okay. Nothing's ever how you plan it to be, but 
I'm happy here. I really am. Although I feel like I could be happier if my throat wasn't... grossed up. But that's okay. We all have our trials and tribulations, and apparently mine is... constantly dealing with sinus and throat stuff. Just the way I guess I've got to be made. Oh, that was dumb. That was dumb on my part. Of course, why not? Oh dear. Oh yeah, this is the round I'm gonna win. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> I mean, not really. In the game, not in real life. Like... Only in the game. And usually, sarcastically, whenever I near miss. But there's a lot of near misses in this game. Thank you. Onward I go. Nobody knows all the bouncing I do. Boop. Probably approaching the end of the normal timer, aren't we? I haven't seen a castle, I think. I don't... I don't actually remember. I've been pretty into this conversation. Hey, it's our favorite stage, 4-3. Why is it popping up today all of a sudden? Thanks, game. I appreciate you. I appreciate you a little less, but I appreciate you. Uh, I thought I could get back to the mushroom. I wasn't confident about that jump. I ruined it. Crazy Wolf's a pretty good name. A lot of Japanese players right now. Okay. But yeah, the prophecy came true. I jumped into a hole. The real question is, uh... Is the 2... 2 in the morning or 2 p.m. for special battle? I feel like it would make sense if it was 2 in the morning. But I could be wrong. Watch me not get any KOs this time, because I squandered them. The previous game. Yeah, nobody can stop my hops. I am a high hopping kind of guy. There we go. Here we are. So I don't want to take bets that... I was reminded by a friend on Twitter that if Nintendo really wanted to wait on the Zelda 35th anniversary, the first game didn't come out until, um, 87 in the US. So they could wait a few years if they wanted to. Like a year or two, I don't know. I'm not good at math, okay. I don't think they will. I feel like if they don't do anything this year, then we probably aren't getting anything, but I don't know. My money's still kind of on the whole... With Super Mario 3D... Super Mario 3D All-Stars and Super Mario 35, going away at the end of March. I feel like the after March will be when we start seeing Zelda stuff pop up. And hopefully those dumb Joy-Cons get restocked. 
They basically sold out everywhere. That's no fun. I haven't gotten a single pre-order in. I only want the one. I'm not paying $160 for four controllers. I really don't like the idea of paying $80 for two controllers, but you know. They're Zelda, so I'll do it anyways. And they're coming out in July, so maybe I'll have a job. I don't have to worry about pre-orders for July yet. I should, but... I don't know. I'm definitely a crab in a small bucket, I will say. Cool. Neat. We zapped one winged Koopa out of the way. Oh, that was fun. It's always a blast. Thank you for having me. Hooray. Yeah, I feel like I've been playing too long to, uh, only have 140 coins, but I'm not sure. This is like the third or fourth round, so I don't know. Aw, oh, dang it, I didn't even get all the coins. What a waste. I'm not gonna get any KOs either. <laughs> what a waste, what a waste, what a waste. Let's go around again. Thanks, game. Thanks for making me stand and get hit by a Goomba. I know it was entirely my own fault, but... I really just like saying thanks, game. That should be my catchphrase. gonna be a part of my character that it's not me who's failing me, it's the game. <laughs> I don't like that. I am excited for Miitopia though. Completely new topic. Let's just, let's just roll with it. I'm excited for Miitopia. Not excited to pay $50 for a $40 game, but you know what? If it means more 3DS, uh, ports, fine by me. I want, I want to play Ocarina of Time again. Let me play Ocarina of Time and uh, Majora's Mask on the Switch, please. Heck, just do N64 for Nintendo Online and I'll take that as well. I'll take that just as it is. I have no standards for how I should be treated. But I'll let you treat me like that anyways. Nintendo, you know? I'll let you treat me like that anyways. <laughs> That's horrible. Thanks, game. I really appreciate the endless waves of enemies. Really, really makes me feel loved. Ah, oh, poop. Well, that was lucky. That was not so lucky. Um, can I actually pull something off here? <laughs> yeah, buddy! Have I mastered jump physics, or have I- I haven't mastered jump physics at all. Maybe I have. Okay, I gotta do this, don't I? Crap, crap, crap. I don't like it, but... Hey, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Nice. Or as long as I don't screw this up, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, buddy. Didn't matter. The way everything should be. Consequence free if you're not trying to, like, screw over, screw over people, you know? Life. It shouldn't be so hard. <laughs> That's a bumper sticker I want. We're down to five people. The clock is not red. Um, I don't have very many coins. 
So that's not gonna be a happy situation for me, but you know what? Of course. Of course. Oh, nice! I was not expecting that to work. I feel like it usually never does. Oh dear. Um. Oh, I was not expecting that to work, actually. Oh crap. What are you doing? Get me out of here, please. That's all I want. Is it a great victory? Not really. Is it the moral victory? Not really. Does it mean I won't have to deal with that course ever again? Nope. It'll pop up again. It always does. Still can't believe I spent a significant amount of time trying to get to 2 4. I'm trying to beat 2 4. That's wild. <laughs> That's really wild. Uh, youth. Innocence. You know? Definitely an eye opener. One of these days I'll be able to do that fully. Just get every enemy in one big combo line. Of course, you jerk. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I'm actually gonna grab- I really wanted to grab that, please. I'm willing to waste time for it. It was worth it to me. I really need more coins, though. <laughs> I would like to be at 300. I feel like that's a good number to have, usually. But I'd also like a lot more time. 4-1... Oh no, you're you're giving me this, buddy. Oh, I don't like this. This is bad. It's all bad where I see it. It's all bad where I see it. It's all bad. Oh, you you morons, you horrible people. Why would you do this to me? You monsters, why are you doing this? Okay. That worked out really well, actually. Pleasantly surprised. I have a power up. Oh, I'm gonna die. This is where I die. Nope. Is it where I live? Of course not, but it's not where I die. <laughs> Fun times ahead. Cool. And thanks to whoever actually uh, got us this opportunity of uh, dying to spinies constantly. That is definitely what we need what we need in our lives. I have regrets. They're not very big or important regrets, but I do have regrets. I'm kind of screwed, aren't I? No matter what I do. Well, we're gonna pretend like it doesn't matter, okay? We're gonna pretend it just doesn't matter, right? We're gonna run through. We're gonna kill anything that gets in our way. We're gonna pretend it doesn't matter. Even though we know it does. Cool! Still got a power-up. And we made it to the fun level. I said we made it to the fun level. I am screaming. I am screaming. 
Why would anybody do this to me? I'm not a bad person. I don't... Oh god, I'm panicking. It's fine. But it's not fine at all. You horrible, horrible asshole. Why would you do this to anyone? I am a good guy. I don't deserve this. Oh, I misread my... situation completely. I feel. I'm screwed. Oh boy, I am screwed. Oh, thank you. Thank you, baby Jesus. I needed that. And I need you to survive, whoever you are. Like, usually I would not say that, but, uh, you really do need to survive. Just a few more minutes. A few seconds, please, buddy. Just a few seconds. Let me do this. Let me... There we go. And sure, I'm kind of screwed at this point, but you know what? I don't care. Had a good run. You know what? I had a good run. Sucks to be me and my complete lack of coins, but you know what? I had a good run. Oh wow. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Unexpected. I was... I had given in. <laughs> I thought I... <laughs> I thought I lost. That was pretty good. Very exciting. A very tight win. Basically at the last, like, few moments, you know? I'm sure <laughs> whoever that is, I wish I could read Japanese, I really do. I wish I could pronounce your names, I wish I could read them. But I'm sure our friend in number two, in the number two spot, is very upset. They were very close. They deserved it. They were a contender. Like... You don't have a hundred coins at the end of a match, but we have all those freaking Lakitu without, like, some serious skill, you know? I had to burn through 400 coins to do it. They were just like, you know what? I'm just that good. Wow. We're really close to having 8-4 beat 20 times, though. That's... that's exciting. We're way ahead of schedule on that one. <laughs> I say it's gonna take the rest of the month to see it again. Yeah, you know, that's just the way it is sometimes. Like, moments like that are why I wanna, um cut out all the wins and have them in one big episode. Because there's some really ridiculous ones. And I'd love to see them. And I'd love to give other people the chance to see them. In a format where they don't have to watch an entire hour just to see like one or two wins. At best. And I don't know, I never know how long of a how long is too long on videos? Because sometimes, like, I'm in a mood where it's just... I'll watch hour-long videos. Or longer. And then sometimes I'm in moods where it's like... Even a minute... A minute video seems too long, you know? But with, uh... I forgot how many people use YouTube daily. But I feel like it's a few billion, right? When you have a when you have a few billion people on this thing, like you probably don't have to worry. As long as people are watching, like it's fine, right? And when you're a small up and coming channel, uh, it doesn't matter. Like someday people might watch it, and that'll be great. Who knows what you'll do in the future that'll really bring in the crowds.
Like, my most popular video got about 30 views in less than a month. But that's about it. <laughs> uh, like, my most watched video is at like 97 views right now. But it's been up since October. So it's taken a while to get to about 100. Which is neat. We're getting there. We're, we're doing stuff. We're reaching milestones. Sometimes it is a little disheartening. I like a lot of the stuff I post doesn't get viewed. But you know what? I post a lot. I only have eight subscribers. Like, I am probably drowning those people in alerts and content. Of which, none of it's really that great. The Smash videos are nice, even though I'm not that good at Smash, because, you know, it's Smash. If you're into Smash, then maybe that's content you'd want to see. But five a day might be a bit excessive. <laughs> five a day every day is probably very ex excessive. Even if it's only, like, less than a minute videos. Like, we all, we all only have so much we can click on. You can only have so many tabs open. And then, uh... There's all the other stuff coming out, too. Like, all the Super Mario 35s every day. Um, we got the Zelda twice a week until March. I don't know. It's kind of neat. Like, I would re like to reach a point where there's, like... Video game... I'd like to slow it down a lot. But I don't know what's, which form I'll take in slowing down the content. Well, I, I just wasted that. That's fun. Oh, and it didn't even matter. Cool. Like, I think I'd like to, uh... As we start getting more different video games getting posted regularly. Regularly. Vows are hard. But as we get more video di more video games content of different kinds of content, like we'll slowly phase out the sheer flood of Smash Bros. Like I think to start um, in April, I want to make it a two-episode-a-day thing, starting in April. And then we'll, we'll do that for a while, maybe for the rest of 2021. And then, uh, depending on how it looks, like, video-wise, like, if I run out of Smash Bros. videos, then we're definitely gonna, like slow down it a lot. Like, that was my expectation. Like, if I did the five videos a week, eventually, no matter how much I do when I make my own, like, uh, I'd eventually, like, catch up. But it's a really, it's really hard to do. It's a little overwhelming to constantly, uh, be uploading five a day. It is time-consuming. And I feel like it's not really rewarding if, you know, there's many days where all five videos don't get viewed at all. And that's kind of disheartening, to say the least, you know? So I think I'd like to slow it down in April, because we will be having the, uh, the Super Mario 35 normal run will end, hopefully before uh, that first April weekend. Like ideally, we'd knock out the that last episode on March 30, not March 31st. It'll be, I don't know, March 31st, April 1st, probably April 1st, April 1st or 2nd. We'd knock out that last. Mario episode. 
And then... From the Sunday after that on, we'll have the no commentary run for Super Mario 35. So if you really enjoy- if you like the idea of this content, but you don't want to hear me talk, um, that's the place to go. Oh, I'm really dumb. Give me a power-up. Thank you. Let me slay this ding-dong. Let me slay these ding-dongs, they're really in my way. The timer turned red, and that's... Not really, not okay. I am in a pickle, spinies are all around. Though there is that pipe, so... I guess I'm going underground. I'm going underground. I spent a lot of time this summer watching, uh, Whose Line Is It Anyways, if you know that show. If you don't, that's fine. It may be before some people's times. Uh, maybe some of you actually had, like, better programming than I did as a young person. Uh, I watched a lot of WB and PBS as a kid. Because I had to. Those were the only channels we had, pretty much. After uh, Fox Kid became four kids, and then... Oh, that was lucky. I am not good at uh, pulling off those random spiny maneuvers. Yeah, I'm not even trying that one. <laughs> but yeah, um... My hope is... Oh dear, I am being foolish. My hope is to uh, change up the uploading routine. And if we reach a point where we have an excess of Smash videos and an excess of time, and like people really want it, then yeah, we'll bring back the uh, whole five Smash videos a day kind of stuff. My fear is that nobody really wants it, needs it, you know, so why bother with it? But if it's something that people want, we can definitely uh, bring it back. And as always, the uh, fan uploads I view as separate than my planned uploads, so there will probably be days where it's like three or four <laughs> Smash Bros videos. Just remember that if we're still on this schedule, those would be the days where you get like six or seven Smash Bros. videos, so. You know, it's a little more balanced, I feel. Really, again? This. Oh crap, I need to use coins. What am I doing? I'm being stupid. That's what I'm doing. I'm being so dumb. I am so stupid. I wasn't even paying attention, I was just talking to you guys. Like a total freaking moron. Give me... Yeah, give me power-ups, buddy. Let's work through this stuff. I don't... I don't want to be in this situation, friend. Cool. That works for me. I really don't want to be in this situation anymore. I don't like it. Cool. Really, I don't even need coins, I just need to keep running. I don't even need to... I just need to keep running, I don't need to stop for anything. I just need to keep going. And going and going. You know what? Doesn't matter. They, yeah! Second win. Nice. <laughs> I was gonna say, if I screwed that one up, it definitely would have been not realizing I had 700 coins. And the timer was ticking down pretty fast. Yikes. And again, it's a really skilled Japanese player. 
I always feel bad that I can't say or read their names. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, we have played 4-3 22 times. That's sweet. Yeah, we've we've done this. We've gone around the block a few times on this stuff. It's pretty cool. Definitely pumping up those numbers. But yeah, um, I don't know. Still just trying my best to build this channel, and I'm learning a lot, and I'm also very ignorant on a lot of stuff on YouTube, so bear with me. I'm trying. If you want to see a change, if you, if you got critiques, feel free to always comment. It helps me out to know what I can change. If you have cool ideas for fan videos, like, also comment those. Hit me up on the comment section, I always see the comments. I don't have enough people engaging to, um, not see anybody, so do that. Or if you want to hit me up on Twitter, feel free to do that as well. It's also a place where I usually don't see much engagement, so feel free to hit me up. I would love to see what you guys come up with for, like, especially weird Smash Bros. videos. Like, we've got some pretty good requests so far. Some very interesting things. And it's... I don't know, I've spent... Until Smash Ultimate, I really didn't play as any character other than... Well, like, this is the thing. I've been playing Smash Bros. Since Smash 64. I started playing as Pikachu. And I basically played as Pikachu for the, like, last 20 years. I'm not even kidding. Like, in Melee, I did switch to a Sheik. For a bit, um, because I had a cousin who kicked my butt with sheep, so I basically copied him a bit. Well, I had a cousin who also got his butt kicked with me, so he started using sheep, and then I started using sheep. So it's just three people using sheep, two of which never won, one of which always won. That's always a frustrating situation. But at the same time, like, it's kind of good at a young age to... kind of eat some humble pie, you know? Like, to be faced with... you can't win every time, you know? There are always gonna be at least one opponent that you can't beat. Because usually in video games, like... even if you can't beat them now, like, if you practice a lot, you can. Because computer simulations are usually fairly predictable, so you can learn the patterns and stuff. And while you can do that with a person to an extent, like, you also can't. Without knowing the game's mechanics and, like, without kind of knowing, like, people. And I know neither. <laughs> I am very bad at, uh, getting myself out of trouble. Or knowing when I should be doing things. So, I played as Sheik, and then I switched back to Pikachu and Brawl, and when I was in college, I actually started picking up, because I had a friend, I had a roommate that I lived with multiple years, who'd use like the gimmick characters, he'd use Lucas and uh, Jigglypuff a lot. So I used a lot of Pikachu still. But I also started picking up, like, Ice Climbers, and, uh... Who else? There was someone else. I don't remember, though. Oh boy, that was... 
Very spicy, I feel. I don't have enough coins. I don't have enough coins. I don't like this. But yeah. Played some Ice Climbers. I want to say Rob, but I've never really liked Rob that much. He's a very weird character. Okay, I need you to, like, not do that kind of stuff. Okay, you're gonna do it anyways. That's fair, that's fine. Waste my time. Waste my power up. No! Come back! I need you! We've got things to do, my friend. Oh boy. Cool. And then, and... Let's see, Smash for 3DS came out next. And the demo was neat. I really got into, um... I couldn't get into Mega Man, I really wanted to. It's just I didn't understand his mechanics. But I really liked Villager. I played a crap ton of Villager on the demo. But for realsies, I tried to do Pikachu, but he was just too small. I didn't like it. So I started using characters like Bowser and Ganondorf, some of the bigger guys, and I really enjoyed Bowser. So I kind of stuck with him when Smash Ultimate came out. But also like in um, Smash 4 Wii U, I experimented with Greninja. I liked Greninja. I like frogs. But uh, not really that good with them. He's got a lot of weird, he's got a lot of cool moves. He can, he can do a lot of neat stuff. I don't feel like I'm smart enough to use Greninja though. <laughs> feel that way about Pikachu though. I feel that way about all the Pokemon. Come on, there we go. Like, my default strategy when playing Link is basically, like, throw boomerang, use bow, hopefully hit someone at some point, wrench and repeat, never use bombs. I don't know, I don't really, I'm not a f like, the bombs are cool, like, the remote bombs are neat. I'm just, it's too much brain power, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and I know that's a weird, dumb answer to give, but it kind of is a good answer. Because you kind of have to know what you're doing. Because you can't re- oh my goodness. You have to know what you're doing. I just destroyed myself. Fun times here. Come on, 5-4, pop in. But yeah, none of a small Smash Ultimate because of the replays and stuff. I'm really trying to use more characters. I like Hero. I know a lot of people don't, or at least a lot of the people that I interact with about the game don't like Hero at all. But my first experience with him was one of my sister's friends was playing him, and he was just having a blast. So I guess that's just kind of the. The spirit I've gotten is just, you kind of have to go into Hero with, like, knowing you're never going to get what you need, but you roll the dice anyways, and it's going to be good no matter what. Even if you have to use Kamikaze a few times, and steal your teammate's stocks. Like, it is the dumbest thing, like, he literally kept doing that all night, but he and his teammate kept winning. All night. So unfair. And, I don't know, I feel like all the DLC characters kind of neat. I'm not upset about any of them. So yeah, we can be a little disappointed that there's another Fire Emblem one. 
I think all of the non-Nintendo ones are pretty great choices. I mean, people can be disappointed about Terry all they want, but... He's kind of an important part of video game history. And he's got a... He's kind of like Ryu and Ken, where, you know, he's got his classic, like, move combos and stuff. But he plays differently enough where he's not, like, a clone of him. He's his own guy. I, like, I don't play Terry that much, though. Like, I, I'm praising him, but I don't really play him that much. Oop. And, like, I know a lot of people are kind of, like, on the fence about Banjo-Kazooie. And I feel that way, too, a little bit. They don't exactly play, like... And I guess this is kind of my feeling about Mega Man. He doesn't play, like, his home game, so it doesn't really feel like Mega Man, you know? Like, Link feels surprisingly like playing Link in Zelda games. You know, you got your tools. And it's not a one-to-one -one perfect whatever, but... It makes sense. It makes sense for the adaption. Or adaptation or whatever, you know. But, I don't know, Mega Man doesn't feel that way to me. But then again, I'm not really that great at Mega Man games. I've never beaten a single one. And I've gotten the Wily's Castle or the castle stage and like all of the original <laughs> eight, I want to say. Good enough to get through the Robot Masters, not good enough to get through Wily's Castle. Although I wonder how I do. It's been a while since I played them. There's a part that's like, well, I wonder how I do as an adult, and it's like, the last time you played through these games was when you were in college, friend. You did even wear- I don't know, I'm gonna s My first time playing them was like, in middle school. On the Mega Man anniversary disc, you know, for the GameCube. And I died so many times in every stage, pretty much. But I'm surprised I stuck with it that long, but I really like Mega Man. I really had a Mega Man phase in middle school. Like, the Battle Network, uh, anime was going on. Um, they were releasing Mega Man manga. Like, I had a little Mega Man boom. Not enough to main them in Smash Bros. Like, a decade and a half later, but, you know. Definitely enough to be... A little fond of those days. I do think Banjo Kazooie's moveset makes a lot more sense than Mega Man's, though. I think my biggest problem with Mega Man is it's. It feels like they just slammed all of, like, random- all these random, like, power-ups all together. So it doesn't make much sense to me. But that's just me being a dummy, not being able to remember, like, oh, yeah. Your side special's this. Your down special's this. Your up special's this. You know, like, I'm just really bad at that. Like, a character like Pikachu, where I've been playing it for a bazillion years, like, everything makes sense with Pikachu. Am I that great with Pikachu? Not really. I'm not a fast... I'm not a fast thinker or reactor, so... Pikachu's kind of wasted on Luffy. Like, you see, like, professional Pikachu players, and they're just everywhere. They are really neat to watch. As a parent, it's like, why aren't you like that? And it's like, I am just... Don't have the brain power. Like, that would overload me so fast. Like, I'd be... Constantly making mistakes. 
And maybe if I just tried it and made the mistakes, I'd learn, and then I'd be a really better Pikachu player. Like, maybe I'm the one getting in my own way on this. Thanks, game. I'm gonna bet that, uh... Not using a power-up is going to... Yep, it's gonna get in my way. It's fine, it's fair. Cool. Cool, cool. Let's not die here, please. Cool. Let's not die here. Let's at least get in the top three. Yeah, we're getting close to the timer, I feel. Probably gonna want to keep that full. On the other hand, it hasn't changed yet. Might as well zoom through and... Oh crap. I'm an idiot. What a pain in the neck. What a disappointment. I was doing okay until I jump into a hole. No, that's it. That's it for tonight. Okay, so yeah, special battle is up. Then we will probably be playing that as well. I will see you there. I, <laughs> yeah, I'll see you there. Bye.